welcome back to my channel for the one that are new here welcome my name is Jen I'm very happy for you guys to be here with me today we will be using a bunch of Morphe products some that I just recently bought and some that I've bought months ago so yeah I will be playing around with some of the Morphe product it won't be a full face since I don't have um, Morphe foundations setting powders or concealers but the rest of it will be all a Morphe product I really hope you enjoy this video now let's get into this tutorial <laughs> So we are jumping right away into this tutorial. I will be using a bunch of Morphe products that I have. So let's get started. I'm really excited to see how it's gonna work out with all these things. So now I am picking up uh, the Arch Obsession Brow Kit in the shade Chocolate Mousse. And this is all the products that are included in this kit. I will start by using uh, the M158 Angle Liner Spoolie Brush. I will be brushing my brow hairs. I will go in with the brow cream in the shade Chocolate Mousse. Basically, all the shades from the Arch Obsession Brow Kit will be in Chocolate Mousse. So yeah, I am using the the brow cream and it is very pigmented you guys i wasn't expecting this and i'm very happy with it um so basically <laughs> i don't know what happened but my eyebrows were so uneven it's crazy anyways now i'm going in with the micro brow pencil and i'm filling in my brows Next, I will be cleaning up my brows uh, with my uh, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Deep 35 and Cafe 30. I will be using this M410 Flat Concealer Brush to conceal my brows. What I like about this uh, flat concealer brush is that uh, it is straight. I am used to use my round brush to conceal my eyebrows, but for real, I really appreciated the fact that it was straight. I should be using this more often and yeah. This is the highlighter stick in Oh Brow Baby. To be honest, it was a little bit too light for my liking, but I used it anyway, and I liked that it was easy to blend out. To set my brow hair, I will be using the brown setting gel, and between a you and me, it's the same as using a translucent mascara so you could use that as well if you have one of those or if you find one at um, your drugstore um, you can definitely go in with that so yeah but it did a great job now for my eyes I will be using an oldie but goodie the Morphe 35 W eyeshadow palette the brush that I will be using first is uh, the pro firm blending crease brush uh, that the M441 and I will go in with this light a brown and then to deepen my crease I will go in with this darker brown using uh, the M433 Pro Firm Blending Fluff Brush. Next, to cut my crease, I will be using the M124 Firm Shadow Brush and I will be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair. Thank you. 
to pack this beautiful peachy shimmery shade on my eyelids i will go in with this little um i think yeah this little medium chisel fluff brush the m152 so i will be adding this beautiful peachy shade on my lids i'm going back with the previous brush that i have used on my crease to blend out the edges of the shimmery shade now this is not a morphe product like i said i am not using a full face of morphe products so i'm not trying to go crazy here i'm gonna use some of the products that i already own that are not morphe products but you know we cannot go crazy and buy all this makeup like i don't know for you guys but there's so many makeups that are released every single week it's getting crazy and we don't know what to buy anymore so girl i'll be using my stash for now okay so next i'm going in with the maybelline dream urban cover full coverage foundation in the shade cappuccino 340 and i will be blending this out using the deluxe buffer brush the m439 and i really like this brush you guys if you had to buy a face brush i would definitely buy this one so uh, next i'm going in with this um what is it it's the highlight plus contour beauty sponge and i will be using that sponge to blend out my highlighted areas as well as to set the highlighted areas and uh, i wanted to tell you this sponge is like firm but not too firm if you have the real techniques beauty sponge and the sonia kashuk beauty sponge well that sponge is in between these two sponges what i like about this sponge are the angles seriously it's easy to um, set under the eyes set um, your nose contour even if you're a person who like to define uh, your contour this is great for that too Next, um, to set the rest of my face, I will go in with the Morphe M527 Deluxe Pointed Brush. Um, my honest opinion about this brush is that because it is flat, I don't like it to set my face. I really like a fluffy face powder brush. So... I would maybe use this one to apply my um, contour powder, let's say. So yeah, that's how I feel about this um, brush. Now, since I don't have any uh, contour product from Morphe, I will be using the brown shade from the palette. So like I said, you can get so creative with your palettes, girls and guys. You don't have to buy all this stuff, you know. So to contour, I will be using the M. No, it's not the M. I will be using the E4 Angle Contour Brush. And I really, really like this brush. Definitely a brush that you could invest some coins in. Next, I will be highlighting. Again, I don't have any Morphe highlighter. That's why I'm using a shimmery shade from the 35W palette. And uh, to highlight my uh, cheekbones, my nose, bridge of my nose, I will be using uh, the M501 highlighter brush. I really like this brush as well. It's a little bit tiny, but I like it. Uh, to highlight my inner tear dot, I will go in with the M431 Precision Pencil Crease Brush. Yeah, it's a crease brush. I don't even know why I've used it to highlight my inner tear dot, but 
it was small enough so why not <laughs> To add a little more popped under my eyes, I went in with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the shade Caramel Toffee and I am using the E48 Mini Pointed Powder Brush to highlight under my eyes. So yeah. So this is the final look. I decided to do a soft cut crease and I really like this look and how it came out. Um, I had a, a bit of difficulty using the brow pomade because it it is really pigmented compared to the elf one that I'm used with and yeah and my eyebrows are very uneven <laughs> that's pretty much it I really enjoy using all these Morphe brushes as well as the palette the palette I've had it for a couple of months so I have used it in the past and it's doing an amazing job i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a big thumbs up and before we leave do not forget to subscribe and i will see you on my next one Mwah.